We have tools, talent, and techniques to get you more prominent in your market. Operation Market Domination. OMG National is proud to sponsor and partner with the American Towman Spirit Ride. Our tow marketing division is pleased to be providing media strategy and logistic support. Call click omgtowmarketing.com. Recovery Roundup. Brought to you by OMG Tow Marketing. Hi, I'm Emily Oz for Tow Industry Week. It's another edition of Recovery Roundup, where we feature towing's power players, take on heavy-duty jobs with expertise. With over 21 million views to his YouTube channel, there are a lot of loyal followers of the work of Ron Pratt of Midwest Truck Sales and Service of Scott City, Missouri. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Ron Pratt channel. I am Ron also known as Rotator Ron by a lot of my viewers. A third generation family business, this proud tow man wears a GoPro video camera mounted on his helmet and records entire jobs featuring his Miller fleet. The main truck is their Century 1150 R Rotator on a Peterbilt. He also works a Vulcan V70 35 ton unit on a Western Star and a Century 4024 20-ton wrecker on a Peterbilt. Pratt believes his channel is very popular because it's family-friendly and showcases the professionalism and may we add skill he is known for. We are going to use both trucks. This thing has got 200 bushels of grain still in the hopper. All right, everybody clear? Yep. <laughs> Also unique to Ron's channel is the fact that in Missouri, tow operators are respectfully referred to as emergency personnel, so Pratt will run his red and blue lights and sirens out to calls when necessary. Let's go see what's going on. For this edition of Recovery Roundup, we called him up to hear about the most popular video on his channel, 1.6 million views of the recovery of this semi loaded with cottonseed. When we got the initial call from the police department, we had reports of a tractor with a loaded grain trailer that had crossed through the median, was initially headed northbound, crossed through the median, took out some of the barrier cable system, uh, crossed through the northbound lane of traffic, and had come to rest in a fence row on the let's see, west side of the interstate after it had crossed over the northbound uh, lane. And it was headed north on the southbound side of the interstate. So uh, it wasn't blocking traffic, but it was going to be a heavy pull because they were afraid the uh, fuel tanks had ruptured uh, and there was some grain spillage. The semi-driver had blown a steer tire and the trailer was heavily damaged. So we had no way to steer the unit and the tractor was heavily damaged. Uh, since it was not blocking the road, uh, we were very, very close to an exit ramp headed southbound. And my initial plan, I wanted to be able to turn the 1150R around and pull the unit out the direction it was headed because it was already headed north which would have put us heading the wrong direction on the shoulder of the interstate. Uh, unfortunately, the powers that be on scene did not like that approach, so we had to turn the entire truck and trailer 180 degrees so that it was facing south again, uh, which for a unit that doesn't steer um, and is completely loaded can be quite difficult. Uh, we were able to get it turned around, but then the most difficult part of all of it was getting it back over the crest of the shoulder without opening those hoppers and losing all the uh, grain. Rim slings made of synthetic fabric were used on the tires to help move the job forward. Synthetic rope has uh, taken a hold in the industry and rim slings specifically are a uh, almost a staple for anybody that owns a rotator or a heavy towing and recovery vehicle. Uh, 
They're designed to use with aluminum wheels as lifting points. You run them through the holes in the aluminum wheels and you lift with them. But as most towers, um, towing and recovery operators will do, they find other uses for almost anything that you have in your toolbox. On this job, I used two of the three quarter inch, yeah, I want to say three quarter inch rim slings uh, on each of the two steering tires. Since we didn't have any steering capabilities on this truck, uh, I used them through the steering wheels and put one winch cable through each set so that I could control the movement of the truck. And being as it was as buried as it was, the truck weighed approximately 82, 83,000 pounds. Most of your uh, grain haulers are going to run a little bit over the 80,000 mark. But you're dealing with resistances over 160 if it's buried down below the tires, which this one was at one point. Um, and then once you get it rolling, even with the uh, brakes not functioning properly, you're still dealing with over 100,000 pounds of resistance. And the rim slings do a wonderful, wonderful job. We were able to do the entire recovery using just the rim slings uh, and the winches on the rotator and the uh, 4024. The most challenging, I would say, was getting the uh, trailer up over the crest of the shoulder without opening up the hoppers. Such a steep angle, uh, we did several several things. We built ramps, wooden ramps. Uh, we were pulling sideways and pulling forward at the same time with the trailer because the trailer was wanting to lean. It was on such an uh, incline. And uh, sometimes wood cribbing is your best friend. You just build, build ramps and walk it up. And that, that's what we ended up doing. Thanks, Ron. We'll be featuring more of Pratt's recovery work here on ATTV in the future. Now, if you would like to submit your recovery to be featured on the Roundup, please visit recoveryroundup.com. Thanks for watching.